Okay, boss fight time against this creepy guy. The guy who says love a lot. You said you don't know what righteousness is, Woody. I don't know what righteousness is. You know, I w it's hard for me to see these guys as evil because I haven't seen what they've done. Yeah. So it's like... Well, neither has Enoch. It's true. He's just been told that they all need to be killed. Are you there, God? It's me, Enoch. <laughs> Why am I fighting these guys? Oh, so funny. Okay, do something so you're open and I can hit you. Well, that's not it. Wow, what did you eat, man? <laughs> A bunch of bats. <laughs> Ooh. He's an agile little man, isn't he? He has a big eye. Well, yeah, there's like there's not a lot of opportunities to attack. You know what? His eye is bigger than his stomach. <laughs> Hi, broke his armor. Nice, now you just gotta hit some multicolored balls and finish them off, right? Yeah, he's close to being done. Now you got your ring on your face. Okay, no, um, I'm using neutral against him, which means yellow would probably be powerful. Mm, yes. yes. Wow, he has a face. So that, that Yuna eye thing was just part of his armor. Yep. Wait, what did you call it? His Yuna eye. I don't even know. A face, something or other. Why did you call it a Yuna eye? Oh, as in one eye. Yes. Okay. I thought you meant as in, like, Yuna from Final Fantasy. Uh, no. Speaking of Final Fantasy. Do I want to know? Super spoilers for Final Fantasy X. Uh, so, uh, you know how in Final Fantasy X, Titus eventually dies? T Titus. Titus. I just just call him Titus. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, dumb. yeah. Um, and did you play X Final Fantasy X two? I saw the ending. Okay, so you know Titus is no longer dead. Yeah. Okay, they released because they're doing a collection now of Final Fantasy games. They released a story that takes place after that, in which oh wow that, that looks, looks really bad. Is that I a... will finish my story in a moment here. Sariel or Uriel? Sariel. Sariel. He's packing. <laughs> wow. Do you hear that? My people calling to me. He's going full evil mode here. <laughs> if you want to know why these guys need to be defeated, really when, like, this is your evidence. Super evil right now. They're making giant sugar cubes fall from the heavens. Just acting so completely villainous. So remember how I said each one of these guys has sort of a patron animal? Yeah, his is bats. Yes. Pink bats. <laughs> He's going all Super Saiyan. Not the evil that you deserve, but the evil that you needed. Time to fight Batman. Nether Serial. Serial. Nether Serial. Flavor beyond this world. And I'm dead. Oh. Really? But I'm supposed to die. Because I have to get my last new power. Sorry to interrupt, Enoch. Uh... <laughs> uh, what were we talking about like 30 seconds ago? The Yuna thing. Yuna thing. So. So anyway, it reveals, so two days after the end of Final Fantasy X-2, Titus, distracted by Yuna's beauty, dies. Literally on the beach, sees something that he thinks is a blitz ball, kicks it, and it turns out it's a bomb, and it kills him, and he blows up, and his head lands at Yuna's feet. What? 
Like, yes. This happens in a game? It happens in, like, a written, like, written epilogue to Final Fantasy X-2, because apparently they do, like... Final Fantasy X-3 in, like, the compilation. Like, this is published officially from, yes. like, Square Enix? Yes. So, anyway, wanted to finish that up. Okay. That guy is Uriel. He's one of the Archangels. He's, like, the warrior one. Okay. And he's giving me warrior power. Is your hair seriously going to stick up? <laughs> Dude, t- close your mouth. He's pulling a Titus. <laughs> Adidas? <laughs> You know, as much as it pains me to say it, if they made, like, a live-action adaption of Dragon Ball that isn't the one they have now, Uh the guy would probably look like Enoch. Goku. So yeah, when I get this, I have super mode now. Basically, every one of my attacks is super-powered now. I am invincible as long as this is active, and I can beat the crap out of anything. But how long is it active? Like 10 seconds? A little bit. How long does it take to recharge? Yeah, about like 10, 15 seconds. Yeah. I build I can, I build up power over time, so... Okay. Is it like a cooldown thing, or you have to like... No, you build up power. Jordy, the forge glasses. I can't get over the Titus kicks a bomb. I'm gonna look that up. Yeah. Because I know you're not intending to deceive me or anything. It is. It's. Really I hope that, you're no. wrong. It's pe- a lot of people because people are talking about it. And it's like it's really that stupid. Okay, this is like the best weapon for fighting him in terms of weaknesses, but it's really hard to hit him. Like the same person that wrote the storyline for Ten and Ten Two. Is, is it the same person that wrote that epilogue? I don't know. And I'm not even sure what the Final Fantasy X-3 thing is, either. Ten three. Yeah, because that's what the thing where it is is called. Maybe it was just a mobile release. <laughs> He's using his stupid bat attack too much. See that? Allow me to help? That's when I have my superpower now. Why doesn't that Archangel just come down here and do that? Now I'm going to do my super attack. Wow. Super attacks are different for each weapon you have? Yeah. Cool. I've damaged him quite a bit. I don't hear anybody calling to you, and I haven't seen any people. I don't think people exist at this point. Pretty much he's, I think because basically the story right now is that he's killed like everybody in his realm in order to gain more power. Yeah, but what's the power if there's nothing to exert power on? Oof. You gotta hit his gold conductors there. No, that just signifies his health level. Because see, they're yellow, so he's damaged Oh, okay. I was gonna say, quick, use your C-stick attack. (laughs) Yeah, I don't think it's amusing either, stupid bat demon guy. Man, the 64 controller was so weird. Yeah, it was... It was cool. It was pretty much they didn't know what it was supposed to be yet, because they made the analog stick, but they still thought they needed a D-pad for control. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like, well, we still gotta have one, but we don't know where to put it, we don't know what to do with this analog stick thing. Yay, invincibility frames! Come on, you stupid bat. Did you think you me? They need to put D-pads on the back of the controller. <laughs> so your thumb can constantly stay on the joystick. I actually played this... There was this really interesting controller for the original Xbox that was like a third-party controller. Uh-huh. And I never bought it. But I saw it in the store a couple times, and it was um, it was designed to look like two guns, 
like the things, mm-hmm. but then it was like a first person shooter controller. So all of the buttons on the controller were accessible from the holding hill, or like the yeah, hooks. from having your thumbs on the thumbsticks mm-hmm. and then having your fingers on the shoulder buttons, and then all of the other buttons were on the back of the controller. Yeah. Like, get all of your phalanges in on the action. <laughs> oh, got my other super attack. Help me out, Ariel. Sorry, but like, they're just punching a very large bat while it's on its back. It kind of looks... See, the know. thing is, my super attacks, they, um, once I use them, my thing is immediately done. So I want to attack a bit first and then use that. This guy's a lot of health. Been beating the crap out of him and he's not going down yet. No, and his health indicators are still yellow. Do they turn red? Yeah. My people calling to me. You don't know what huh, there we go. <laughs> I'll do his little, because it does a little cutscene every time you get him down a little bit more. This is so weird. <laughs> Man. Big creepy flesh bad creature. Now he's going like full. I cannot be defeated. I will not be denied. How can this be? At least he's not like pulling an Artorius or anything. <laughs> Just oh no, I'm gonna use my super move. Do you hear that? It's the sound of me kicking your ass. <laughs> Do you smell what the Enoch is cooking? Hopefully this will be enough. Come on! This is a really cool way to end it. I want to end it on a cool note. No! <laughs> you ever do that when you fight bosses? You want to end it cool? Yeah, and then you uh, win by like kicking them in the shin. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I've had a few really bad fighting game moments like that where it's like, oh, I comboed into like my super combo and it's a ten hit thing and then I need to like put jab him once. I'm not gonna pay for anything. <laughs> the subtitles were wrong. <laughs> How much will you steal for me until you're satisfied? It's like. Got him. I don't think I'd be upset somebody doing that for me. <laughs> Finally. Gosh. Killed Took like an hour. Dick. Let's not bring back dynamite. His hair's frayed. <laughs> You've defeated him. He just wanted to help this people. Is he part of the BB Corps? Because <laughs> he's failing at it right now. The fear. <laughs> he didn't start crying or screaming or. But he's naked. He's just got paint, pink paint all over him. And this weird demon tail coming out of his shoulders. It looks like his legs cut off. Just the that angle. In the prophecies of Ishtar. <laughs> Pillsbury Dodongs. See, look, this is actually significant because, see, as he dies, all of the Nephilim he spawned die. Oh, okay. Bye-bye, Nephilim. It's so pretty. Somebody's on acid, dude. And he's gone. He's been claimed for punishment. Well done, okay, so he's getting transferred to... Yes. Okay. Oh, you're using their terminology, man. There you go, there's your Okay, architect. yep, yep, yep. The leader of the free men also awaits you. I'm sure he'll want you to do all kinds of things for him. But you <laughs> Messenger of God. Prophesied by 
So, what do you want me to do, leader of the free men? Release the souls of the Nephilim. Oh, look, his, he's a skull, too. He's a skeleton. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Nephilim can get real powerful. Put them out of their misery. Like, more powerful than the fallen angels, and possibly destroy the world. Whoa. So maniacal. Eating its offspring. Dude, he just swallowed a punching bag. Soon I said Nephilim get a little creepy eventually. It's like Alien vs. Monsters. <laughs> or Monsters vs. Whatever. So this is the reason, these guys. This is the reason for the Flood. Yeah. These things. Yep, that's what we're doing this level. 